This is their story. It became very real to me when I first tried on my boxing gloves and punched, um, punched a tree and the tree actually fell down and it had been there for, I don't know, 150, 60 years. And I suddenly realised the power that I had and how much I could hurt this light entertainer, Les, that we know as Les Dennis. I want to go home. <laughs> Turns out Les is quite a bit bigger than me, so that was a, an error. There were just all these guys, all these obvious boxers, just standing around. That boy needs therapy. I'm kind of looking at me and thinking, what are you doing here? I'm going to be fighting, 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 fighting. You know Bob Mortimer? Yeah, yeah. My first training session was with Mick Carney in London. When I walked in, I became frightened. Um, and then when I realised that he was a, was a hard man, I, I became even more frightened. Where's the sweetest spot to win? On the chin. I, uh, I generally just lay in cotton wool most days watching um, daytime television. Um, and I love candy floss. Should pack up drinking and carry on smoking. All right, that's his deal. Can I continue not having sex? Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Go. When Jim came in, I mean, from, from the very minute that I met him, I could see that he, he was going to motivate me. And he worked me really hard that day. Dig in, dig in, dig in. go back on yourself, back on yourself. Go again, go again, go again. I was totally, totally, you know, just shattered. <laughs> You're only good at dancing. No. No, I guess so. You're right in there. Oh, he's an actor. Make if you don't eat me, I'm going to eat you. Okay. That's it. I hope neither of us die. I wouldn't like that to happen. One, two, three, four. I wouldn't mind, uh... No, I don't want anyone to die. Yeah. Is it not me? I'm one of the most talented. You come as he's seen. Come on, you chart. Come on, hey. Come on. That he was very, very surprised at the speed of my hands. You throw that shot. The apple pillar. Very, very impressed by my genitalia. I kill you, Bob Mortimer, for suggesting this. But then I'm going to do all that again because I didn't have the microphone on. <clears throat> right. I've been to the shop. By my head guard, I've been to the dentist to get my, what do they call it? Mouth guard, whatever it is, my gum shield. And um, both the shop and the dentist um, said that I should wear them to get used to them, so that's what I'm doing. I've got my boots on as well. Punch the sky, make a star shape, and then on you go on a journey. Back and forth. Hello there. Yes. Five, two, one, two. I will be thinking that he wins because nobody knows the little terrier side of my husband. <laughs> he doesn't take anything lying down. And, um... Not like it. <laughs> um, and he's a tough little thing and I, I honestly think he's going to win. Well, the first punch bag was very different. It was uh, manufactured by a bedding company. But then I threw it away and moved on to the professional model as my abilities overtook the capacity of a duvet. Right, well, that's the bag disposed of once again successfully. But I'm going to stop training now until you good people phone 08457 910 910 and pledge some money to Sport Relief. It'll be a nice rest for me. Not going to train until you do it. Have you rung yet? You have? Nice one. Back to the boxing. Come here, lads. Come here, lads. Yesterday afternoon, I thought, I came back from the gym and I was really tired and I thought, I'll just have a lie down on the bed and I went to sleep and I woke myself up, sparring. I actually kind of like, I actually was, was punching in my sleep. So that's how, how bad it's got me. I'm totally obsessed with it. Relax. Tap, tap, bang, 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 bang. It's the best kind of 
kind of exercise I've, I've ever done. done, done, done. It would be more like a pillow fight, but it's like being hit with a brick. Yeah, I feel a lot fitter, fitter, fitter. I think he's probably got a good chin, chin, chin. I mean, need one. Need one. Let's yeah, good thanks. Ten days to go, yeah? yeah ten days to right. go. You know you're not allowed no sex or no alcohol or nothing like that, you know that. Yeah? Oh well, I don't want that. I Early don't want to I didn't want to shag you. <laughs> 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 A good punch. Yeah. Very good punch. The right, but the left's left's a bit weak, isn't it? No, no, it's not left. Sometimes the left has to, you have to be strong all the time, yeah. but the right is something that you keep as a nuclear, you know what okay. I mean? But you're doing nuclear. something too bad. Yeah, nuclear bomb, yeah. <laughs> yeah okay. You're not doing too bad for the first time, yeah. Les, man. Very yeah. good. I've been following Les for a long, long time, and I know with his jokes and all that, he's very witty, very, very quick and whatever, and he, the way he dresses as well, he's a snappy dresser, so he's, um, he's a proud man, you know? So I don't know too much about the other guy, because I'm, I'm, I'm a mentor for Les Dennis. I don't. I don't really want to care about the other guy. All I know is the guy, other guy's shorter than him, and I want my, my, my man, my man to win. One bit of advice, the night before, make sure you sleep with your boxing gloves on, and if he gets like a marquee, take the pegs out and keep it down and focus on the day. He's not bad. I mean, after he'd been to Mick County and the Fitzroy Lodge, I was led to believe that he was pretty woeful. But um, he was surprisingly good. His right hand is a sweet, secret weapon. His right hand's terrific. <laughs> it's really terrific. If he hits, if he hit anybody with that, he'd knock them down. He really is. He's got a, a fantastic right hand. So he picks things up quickly. He's got good athletic uh, prowess. He can bang, and if I can get his balance right, he'll he'll do pretty well. We don't have a grudge against each other. We like each other. We, you know, I think that's the hardest thing is to go into the ring and know that you're going to try and hit somebody that you get on well enough with. So I feel really, um, I, I wish him good luck, but I hope he loses, of course. My wife's a kickboxer, and uh, so whenever I go home and say, look, I've got a new move, just, just seconds later, I'm picking myself up off the floor. So that's not a confidence builder. She's desperate for Les to win. Um, my two sons are on my side. I say to them, I'm fighting Les Dennis. I say, what do you think of Les Dennis? And uh, my littlest one, Tom, says he's stupid and he's sick. And they want me to win. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Mr. Bob Mortimer! <laughs> Hello. Now, listen, uh, I want to get a couple of things sorted out right at the okay. beginning here. Uh, first of all, this, this is not for real, is it, right? It is for real. It's a beautiful sport and we do it beautifully together. <laughs> no, no, it's for real. We, we, try, you know, we trained for five weeks. Where we, we didn't sleep for five weeks because of the fear and we tried our best, yeah. <laughs> to, to, you're not going to believe what you say, you know. But you don't really actually go for it, though, do you? Yeah, we really? do. I mean, we do. <laughs> I, 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 you know, I nearly knocked him out. Well, I shouldn't say. No, don't I give anything say. away because we'll be showing the fight a little bit later on yeah. uh, in the show. But first of all, how did this whole thing come about? I just thought I'd like to fight um, someone called Les Dennis. <laughs> 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 no, hold on. And then it turned out that there's a light entertainer of the name of Les Dennis, and so we got it on. Do you know what I mean? Did you know each other beforehand? I, I'd, I'd met him once, yeah. And, you know, he just said, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, the Teletubbies fella. Right. You know, and, uh, no, of course, that's not true. But I, I was thinking I'd like to fight someone, you know, and I thought he was about the same size as me, but it turns out he's three stone heavier, which was a shame, Jeremy. Right. Um, I think, I wish I'd chosen you, actually. Come really? To it was going to be him or Quinton Wilson from Top Gear. Right. <laughs> <laughs> would have been quick. Yeah, it would be quick. Yeah, no, he was, he was I would have had him. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, is there anyone who possibly uh, you wouldn't take on? Um, well, I wouldn't take on Audrey. Really? Well, I wouldn't want to embarrass him, you know what I mean? Well, I know, well, you say that. I tell you what, I'm going to go... Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have got, actually, the Olympic super heavyweight champion of the world, Mr Audley Harrison, this year. Oh, hey, hey, also, <laughs> hang on! <laughs> Audley, come up and sit. 
Nice to see you. Come and sit down here. Hi, hi. Uh, we no also way. have, right, how are you? Uh, in all the excitement, Mr. Les Dennis is here as well. Yeah. The blonde bummer. Oh, yeah, how are you, mate? I am. Now, hello. Now, listen, I was trying to, I, I, I'm trying to get my, my head around this uh, and whether you were actually really going for it. I mean, uh, did, you, yeah. did you hurt each other? I think so, yeah. I, yeah. Saw, I saw shooting stars in, in the second round, I tell you. I felt nothing, Les. I was hard, <laughs> to be honest. No, it was, um, we, we went for it because we, we trained hard, yeah. so we, we wanted to box. Jimmy, it's and a very he, frightening thing, you know. It is. It's, it's, even with the headgear on and the glove, it's like been hit by a yeah. brick, you know. I mean, say for instance, say for, if I wanted to take on Audley, say, yeah. for sport relief. What's a jab like? What's a jab's like? I'm not really. Uh, yeah, I'm not really. Look, Audley, come on here, come on. I'm not really much of a boxer. All right, well. Okay, I just need a little bit yes, of uh, shape him up, shape him up. Shape look, him up shape look, look, you, you need to get loose. Keep, you've got to keep jabbing, you, and keep, uh, keep, keep here as well. So you, you've got quite you, a good reach. Look, though. you've got quite a good reach. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so well, I stand here. Right, that you way, stand there. That way. Round that way. Like right. that. Okay. Lead it like a. I'm a right. southpaw now. No, this you're not a southpaw. That's what they keep saying to me. I've got to keep my hands up. Yeah, keep your hands up. Right. Okay. Right. All you do. Why are you changing for? Because you're gonna hit me. You're gonna be up. I know you are. What did you say about me earlier? Oh, okay. What did you say something about me earlier? Oh, no, <laughs> no, okay. All right, really gently, okay, really Jamie, gently. Jamie, for sports relief. For sport relief, but really gently. I hear you've been doing some acting lately. So yeah, really gently, though. Don't, you've got a ring on. Really gently, and I'll give other, uh, for sports relief. Sport relief, yeah. Go on, let's hit it. Come on! He took it well. He took it well. He took it well. To you. He's got the he's got the make he's got the draw of a great fire. He's got the draw of a great fire. He's in tears. Well done. I'm proud of you. I don't believe it. He's in tears of real pain. Incredible stuff. That was TV gold. We'll have the big fight itself, though the proper fight, the one that was trained for in about 20 to 25 minutes time. But the only reason Bob, Les, and Jamie went through that relative hell was to stop this actual hell. Yes, now. Yes, right now. Now. Uh, no other time in the history of time. Ladies and gentlemen, we've seen the hype. It's time for the fight. In the words of Duncan and PJ, let's get ready to rumble! Oh, 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 Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourselves for an extraordinary contest. BBC Sport in association with the IWCBA and Sport Relief, fighting poverty with the power of sport, bring you the inaugural Light Entertainment Championship belt. In the red corner, we surveyed 100 people. We asked them to name their favorite hard-hitting primetime family quiz show host. 
Weighing in at 83 kilos, punching out of Primrose Hill, wearing black trunks with the gold trim, trained by former European super featherweight champion Jim McDonald. Our survey said, Mister, if it's up there, I'll give you the money myself. Tonight's top answer, Les the Blonde Bomber Dinner. by the former featherweight champion of the world, Mr. Barry McGuigan. The current super Middlesbrough, light heavyweight entertainer, weighing in at 70 kilos, wearing white shorts and fighting out of Faversham. He floats like a butter knife. He stings like a nettle. Bob the Woodpecker Morton! will take place over three one and a half minute rounds and will be refereed by the former super middleweight champion of the world, Mr. Steve Collins. Your judges tonight will be the former flyweight champion of the world, Mr. Charlie Magri. The current WBF intercontinental super featherweight champion, Mr. Nicky Cook and former British heavyweight and current promoter of Audley, A-Force Harrison, Mr. Jess Harding. <laughs> Gentlemen, to the centre of the ring, please. OK, guys, I want you to obey my commands all time. And I'll go to you in five. Okay. Those about to box, we salute you! Second out, round one. There's a quite an atmosphere, and the whole audience are invited. They're all friends of both boxers, and uh, many a celebrity among them, and of course relations and wives yelling. But these fellas, now they mean it. There's, there's, there's no larking about here. That makes a difference. I mean, considering there must be easier ways to give money to this worthy charity without getting a punch on the nose. But uh, they, maybe they, they figure a punch on the nose can be as friendly as a handshake. Full marks for effort. The skill could come later, but uh, these punches can hurt, even though they're not always correctly delivered, they're hard enough. Snarling away there, the Long the bomber Dennis, and if you're not familiar, that um, Billy Walker was called that the heavyweight. But long before that, the great Joe Lewis was the brown bomber. Well, he's got the guest of the of the jab and a bit of gab too, isn't he? With that left hand lead. Well, they were blowing a bit even at the end of the first round. There, they, that bell sounded a bit like an orchestra. So remember why these gents pulled on their gloves in the first place so that you could watch, enjoy, and most importantly, help us make a difference to thousands of children who are living terrible lives. Call 08457 910 910. Well, a little bit of decoration, as always, at these uh, big fight nights. Oh, there, that's, that's the wife. Oh, dear. They're into the, the next round now. They're going to try on different tactics or not. Oh, the long right hand coming over there. That was a bit surprising. And uh, referee Steve Collins just getting the head guard moved. Obligatory head guard, of course. And in amateur boxing, in serious amateur boxing anyway, they can get disqualified for losing their head guard. Well, well the woodpecker's gnawing away there, isn't he? <laughs> getting through. But, no, well, he, oh, he's getting very stern now, Mr. Collins, the world champion. I don't blame him, but when I say stop boxing, you must stop boxing. You're just a bit of enthusiasm. Makes a change to see that in any good fighter. Well, now he's going to circle the ring now, isn't he? U using the ring, I think the term is. Step back, step back. 
Step back. Step back. That's it. Right. Call it. He's trying to okay? call break head there, head Collins. He's having a bit of trouble oh, handling them. In fact, more head trouble head handling head the uh, head guard. He's not head cut, head I head hope. Head oh, no, he's not. That's good. He's giving a little bit of encouragement there, the referee. Well, the counter punch now from Mortimer with that right hand is not bad, but certainly the efforts are coming also from the blonde bomber. He throws, he's throwing more punches, but whether these judges are scoring them, I wouldn't like to say, really. It's, uh, the crowd, whatever's happening, this crowd love it here. Jim McDonald in the corner there, he knows what he's doing. That, that boy looking a bit fearsome now, isn't he? See, he's a good impersonator. Maybe he's impersonating trying to be a great fighter. So he's shattered. He's saying he's absolutely shattered. Well, I think they, they both are, actually. He's blowing a bit hard. See, it's the atmosphere and the event and the stress of it all that can make you tired. But mind you, a punch on the nose doesn't do you much good anyway if you're short of breath. See, off again now. This, they're getting a little bit better with the technique now. Mortimer's not bad doing that at all. He gets through. That's for the referees in again. You mustn't do that. When I say stop boxing, you've got to stop. He might have to make a comeback. I'll in to show him what he means. Box on. So, box on now. How the judges are going to sort this one out, I don't know. Very little in it. Lots of effort from uh, Les the Menace. Oh, hello, hello. Don't turn your back. No, don't turn your back. I, if somebody was hitting any of us like that, I think we'd all want to run away about turn your back. It's, uh, getting out of the way is no problem. Well, a lead with the right hand and getting away with it is not bad in, uh, in any form of boxing. Oh, a little bit of that head guard. A, a bit of a nuisance they can be. They're necessary, but they can be a bit of a nuisance, especially if you can't see. <laughs> Oh, there. <laughs> he's running away now. He's done a runner. Don't be running away when he's hitting you, okay? Oh, well. You gotta let him hit you, okay? All right. Don't be punching him in the arse when he runs away, okay? Okay. <laughs> Don't punch him in the arse when he runs away. Well, I mean, that's straightforward Wait, enough. Anybody can on. understand that. I was thinking he put his running spots on there. I don't say I blame him. It's a smart move. It's good stuff, isn't it? It's exciting. But this crowd are absolutely loving this the invited crowd by the way but uh, I think they'd have paid I didn't to see it really the, the su support both of them it's, it's a mixture of support here with the relatives and celebrities and what a good job they're doing as well considering they, they've only just learned to put gloves on let alone fight oh it's a relief that, that final bell was a big relief for both these fighters this they are worth, they've loved doing it, but they're worn out and they're rightfully getting the applause there. So who's won it now? Let's find out what uh, Madri and Harding are going to sort out here among the judging. Not easy. A lot of good covering up going on there. But, uh, Dennis was throwing perhaps a few more punches, but whether the... The judges are consider that they've all landed correctly, I don't know. It's very difficult. It's a very subjective game score in boxing. But these replays, I tell you, as you can see, they didn't knock about, did they? What an effort for charity this is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a split decision. The judges score the contest as follows. Judge Magri. 59 Dennis, 58 Mortimer. Yeah! Judge Jess Harding, 58 Dennis, 59 Mortimer. Yeah! Judge Nikki Cook, 58 Dennis, 59 Mortimer. Yeah! for the gallon loser, Liz the Blonde And please salute tonight's fixer.
just a glimmer in our eye. Tonight it's a fantastic campaign. With help raised, more than 10 million quid. They're still standing. Look at them. They're here. That is an incredible figure, which we hope will only grow and grow as your donations come in. Remember, you can and we'd like you to continue giving to Sport Relief because every donation is another child's life turned around. Unbelievably, that's nearly it for us tonight. I want to shave Jamie's beard off with my teeth. It only remains for us to say thank you to everyone involved, from everyone here and all you back at home who helped to make this a really memorable night. Yeah, big, big thank you. And to everyone here on stage as well, thank you. Please don't stop giving because it helps kids go on living. Thank Thanks you. very much. Good night.